Hello there, welcome back to Flute Salad. Welcome back to Sonic X Shadow Generations. This is another little video where we're going to be looking at um, some of the gameplay from there. So, there's three videos I want to go through today. Um, if you haven't seen my trailer analysis as well, you can go back and watch that, but you don't need to because this is probably going to be more knowledgeable than that anyway we have this official footage which some of this is um just regular gen so we'll just skip past that um and i've got this and then two screen recordings that we want to look at afterwards so we're going to start with this one this is the this is like actual official gameplay that's been released uh, i'm just going to show it on 1080p for a sec um so here we can see him doing the chaos control myself he's smashing the absolute fuck out of that barrel which is sick um that's that's incredible punches it back absolutely destroys it now this bit i really really like actually you see that tiny little detail there he chaos controls over and then pushes that pushes he pushes this out of the way as he goes past look how cool that is and then there i don't actually know if you noticed he um he does just vanish for a few frames. I'm assuming they don't have the um, effect in for that bit yet. Boop, boop. But um, yeah, he vanishes, kicks it, brown, sends it away. That looks absolutely beautiful. The lighting there is is gorgeous. He falls down again. Another thing I notice. I'll stop with these more errors here and there. Um, last few frames of this bit, he's just not animated. But you don't, you literally don't notice it. Unless you're looking for it. This little roll here is beautiful. Sorry, I'm going through frame by frame with some of these animations because I'm doing animation. And I think it's beautiful, some of the stuff they're doing. They finally learned how to animate. And then he jumps up the spring. So this is, we assume this is the first act of the game. Uh, the first the first stage of the Shadow Generations portion. He's now coming down here. And comes along here. Alright, so we've got what seems to be an upper path, although I haven't actually seen any footage of it yet. And these Chaos things from Sonic Adventure 2. A ramp, which you can actually boost over. Nice, a few different, like, pathways you can take here, which does look really cool. These enemies here. Again, springboard up there, ramp there, another way over there. So, it, it, there is lots of ways to get to, you know, where you're going, which you like. There, we can see there is an alternate pathway, and the third video we're going to be watching does actually showcase that, but I'd assume you'd atomic attack that enemy and then go, whoops, and then go through that red ring that's up there. And that takes you to a completely different path up there, but if you don't, you got this little section here. And go forward, you notice the person playing isn't actually boosting that much, and I clinically want to talk about this little section here. The person playing isn't really boosting that much. Um, I assume that's more to show the level off or anything else. This area here is nice and big and open, and I absolutely love it. So we see we've got lots of different route paths. You can just go up there over that ramp and there. We've got that enemy there to get onto there, which will then take you around to there. And then over, perhaps it'd be a secret or collectible somewhere else. We've also got a whole other pathway up here in different red rings and stuff. Maybe a path here. I don't know if you can get from there from down on the ground. But if you take the enemy uh, and go forwards that way, like I showed before, it leads you up here. But I'll show you that later on. This is at the start of this level now, so at the very beginning of it. loops around here and there again you can see another alternate path there you can jump onto those rails and then you get onto that rail over there so there it looks like there's lots of nice alternate paths um which i am liking so we do also explore them in uh, a later video as well these little tool tips which are just appear everywhere they're always there these enemies we can see there's an alternate path if you go directly forwards that does just lead you back onto where we're going in a second anyway if you take those springs there, it literally just takes you onto this path, but that's fine. But you can see there's more paths over there. Don't actually know if we can get to them or not, but they are there. I haven't actually seen anyone go forwards here. It looks to me like you can... There might be a way... Yeah, look, it looks like there's a springboard there. It looks to me like you can get up there and then go around there. I haven't seen anybody take that path yet. Yeah, maybe you can quite easily just get there. Um... Looks like a whole other alternate section. Look, there's um. Oh my god, this motion blur is horrible. There's definitely a entirely different route that way. So yeah, I haven't seen anybody take that yet, but that is a thing that exists. If not, you take this rail, you go down here, 
Lighting's a little bit bugged there, as you can see, Shadow is just completely black in his face, but that's fine. Uh, there's a collectible there, you can actually jump off the rail and grab it. I don't know why whenever they release these official footage, it's always like the worst gameplay you've ever seen in your life. They do it with Frontiers, they do it with this. But there you go. He's coming up here, going up this ramp. Thread the like This bit's a little bit straight, but linear sections are, you know, to be expected, and they're, they're okay, actually. This bit is really cool, so there's these missiles coming, but you can actually activate Chaos Control and freeze them, and use them as a as a, as a platform in order to get onto that red ring there. You might be able to jump off that as well, I'm not sure. But you can freeze these in place with the Chaos Control and use them as a platform, which I think is actually a really cool little thing. Um, this here, I don't actually know what that does. That I think that gives you... It's either Chaos Spear that gives you, or Chaos Control points. Don't know which, but um, there you go. There we can hear Shadow's voice, and as you can see there, they use it as a little platform. To get through. Very nice, like that, and there's another one there. Right, now this is later on in the stage, we move on to this area. The Radical Highway section. Music is stellar for this bit. But that's not what we're talking about. The, that, the animation there in that section. Really nice. That little spinny does. Oh, it's beautiful. The transitions from cutscene to gameplay are really nice in this. And you get some nice speed, like, skating down this building. With Black Doom, whatever he's saying. Who knows what he's saying. Really, really cool little thing, this. This bit here is really cool. I love this section. Um... And then you come here and you just attack these enemies. Boop. Boop. One more. One more, my guy. There we go. You hit Black Doom. What's going on with Shadow's nose there? The fuck? Go back. Go back. Why is his nose at that angle? Oh, who? Who knows? <laughs> anyway. <laughs> fuck it out. Oh, and now we have an advert for UNICEF. Thanks, UNICEF. I love, I love adverts. Oh, and now we've got open days at UCAS. Thank you. Really good for my... <laughs> yeah, there we go. Um, okay, here is just regular generations. It's literally just regular generations. Uh, apparently people are saying his top quill looks longer. To me, his bottom quill looks longer. Or oh, it just kind of looks the same. Who actually knows? But this is just... Yeah, this is just... Why did I hear a ring sound effect then? There were no rings. Oh no, there were rings. Okay. Yeah, this is just Sonic Generations. Um, not really much to say about this. It's just Sonic Generations. Yeah, um, this top code definitely does look longer, actually. Anyway, um, there's that. And then obviously there's the, the modern Sonic section. Which we can actually get to it here. It's just it's just Sonic Generations at the end of the day. There's not really too much going on here. It's just Sonic Generations. Um, the person playing clearly doesn't know what they're doing because they're just they don't even know what the boost button is. Um, yeah, I mean, fucking hell. But that's just Sonic Generations. We have a bit more Shadow gameplay later on in this. We have the boss fight. Which I actually don't care too much about. It doesn't really look that great. It's just kind of copy and paste. It's that same one from Sonic Adventure 2. Sorry, the materials on Shadow there look absolutely amazing. Look at him. Hang on, where it shows on the back. Oh, look at that. He looks so tasty. Um, don't really care about this at all, really. Because, um, for one, I despise Sonic Adventure 2. And for two, I didn't like this boss fight then. I don't like it now. I like some of Shadow's animations, which I think it shows it in this video. The animations are really cool. Um, the boss less cool. His weird side flaps are doing that. Don't really know why. Rawr, I've got teeth. Anyway, literally just the exact same boss. Where he fires the stuff at you, and then you've got to grind up his tubes, and then you smack his back. What did Shadow just say? Speak up, mate. Hang on, let me turn my audio off on my end. 
Okay, I didn't. I don't know what he's saying. Anyway, you attack his back thing. His weird flaps flap for some reason. Oh, that was a nice little skid. Do you see that? He does a cool little flip. Shh, bit of a skid. Do you see that's nice little touches? I'm glad they're starting to do stuff like that now. Hey, grow some arms. I already know your weaknesses. That's what he just said. He's going to do it again. He's going to do it again. Ksh, yeah. Um, that's just that. And then you attack his balls. Same as you do in Sonic Adventure 2. Not really too much going on for this. This is kind of just more of more of what we literally have already seen in the previous game. But it just looks better. This bit I think is new where he does these little bits. He unleashes Chaos Control here to freeze these things in place. Packs him as normal. Yeah. And then jumps up. And then the third stage is this bit. Where he jumps onto the wall and you have to Chaos Spear all these... All these balls. There's a lot of them. Out of my way. Um, out of my way. And then once you do all that, he unleashes this massive ball. And the animation in this little section is really quite nice. I'll let this play out. So you chaos control. The chaos control should work. And then you just... Okay. I want to talk about that. He does the shadow backflip. He does the... He... Hang on. He does the he does the backflip. He does the backflip from um Shadow. There it is. He does the backflip. It's really quick though, so you, whoops, so you'd be forgiven literally just for missing it. But he does do the backflip from Shadow, which I noticed, which I quite like. Yeah, for such an early boss, these animations are kind of insane. I think there's three or four bosses, we don't know for sure, but there's this, and we know Black Doom's one. That bit there. Oh, that is, that is. It looks like he springboards off, yeah, he jumps off one of those balls. Which is sick. Animation is absolutely, look at that. Now that is cool, that's a cool guy right there, bro. That is a cool guy. Punk. Then he blows up. And that's the end of that. The next thing I want to talk about is this. So we have some gameplay footage here. It's only in 480p. But we have some gameplay footage here. I'm going to turn the sound down a little bit. Because you can't actually hear it. Shadow says, finally I've got you now. You won't get away. Or I, I won't let you get away. But we've just got this whole stage. Forgive the quality. Um, and forgive Fidel for falling to his death egg. This is uh, Fidel's gameplay. Um, I think he was trying to test the rail momentum there, but uh, who knows, really. Um, again, we can see his ultimate pass. Well, this is just kind of showing the whole stage. I want to quickly talk about the UI, because we can see the UI now. This down here, whoops, this down here is the boost. That there's obviously your rings, your time. This up here is your chaos control, I believe. So yeah, and then here we can see the hint, push R2 to boost. So the same controls as Frontiers. Boost goes to the bottom left. Um displayed while and then he cuts it off so who knows what that says but it doesn't really matter um you can see the homing attack is x and then x uh, x and then square sorry i was mixing my two consoles <laughs> x and then x jesus christ which is the same as it was in um frontiers and unleashed but as you can see he actually avoids his enemies and takes this alternate path which literally just takes you back up here anyway um, still doesn't take this forward path up here, goes left again. I think because the camera automatically turns, I don't know how many people are going to realise that is a path you can take. Um, but there you go. He jumps up here, grabs this collectible, which I don't know what it is, but there's three of them in the stage there you can see, so maybe they're sort of red ring type things. Uh, you can see there's different paths you can run up there and run up there, which does actually happen in the next video I want to talk about after this one. That just shows this entire stage. Um, in its entirety. There's another alternate path there which does also just take you back up here, but it's nice to have those, you know, alternative routes. Small little shortcuts here and there. Um, jumps up onto this top rail rather than going in the tube, as we can see. Runs along the top. Really, really nice here. Um, it's actually a spring there, and you can take the red ring as well. Really, really, really nice. Um, 
the reason the quality on this is so bad, I mean, I could probably find a high quality version on his YouTube channel, but this I think is ripped from the Twitter posts, and you know what Twitter compression is like. Um, this is what I talked about before, where you can freeze the um, freeze the missiles. But chaos control runs out here. You can see it draining at the bottom there, and it's L two T's chaos control goes forward. The thing I really like is this stage is big. It's a big stage. Which I like. Yeah, that, so that fills up those things fill up the chaos control. I don't know if you can get it through other means like collecting rings or defeating enemies or what, but those capsules do give you chaos control points. Let's see if enemies do it. No, so you have to get it. Oh no, enemies did fill up a little bit. So you do get chaos control through enemies, I believe. And then it just gets full by the capsules. Which is okay. We can see the camera flips around here. We're running along the roof. Again, we've frozen all those missiles that were there using the Chaos Control. Flips back around again. Same thing again. Chaos Control, you can use them. I assume if you freeze them in the right place, you can use them as a ramp just to run straight the way up and save you some time as opposed to using that springboard. The quick step here, still not working as it hasn't done since Generations. It hasn't worked properly since Generations. Didn't work properly in Forces or Frontiers, but there you go. Launches himself up here. And this is the section from before with the, um, look at this man, he's so happy. Uh, this is the section before with the missile, which is spoken about before. Actually, let's see if he does the teleport effect in this one or not. Because he does it like here, when he's teleporting away there. Does he do it here though? No. So that's just clearly not in the game yet. Smacks that, throws it back like that, falls down, brum, does a little roll. Very, very, very nice. Bounces off all these springs back into this fall down section, which is, again, I think that, that's been every game since Unleashed. It was in Unleashed Gens. I think it was in Lost World, I'm not sure though. Um, it was in Forces and it was in Frontiers as well. So that's just in everything. Um, you can see they're launching off that ramp, which is really quite nice. Uh, we can see here the double jump does slow him down quite a lot. I wonder if we're going to get customizable controls like we did in Frontiers. Boop. There, you can see the double jump just slows him down a lot. Don't know if we will or not. We don't know about that yet. But he launches all of these things. There's the enemy there. Boop, smacks them. Runs along. Takes the left path here instead of the forward one. But the forward one is in the next video we're going to look at after this one. That comes up into this big open area you can see. The thing I do like is that ramp. that This ramp here. That one. Has no... It's got no boost pad you have to get up launch up there yourself if not you can take that springboard but it's a little bit slower obviously there's more enemies down there if you miss the jump for whatever reason and that takes you up around here onto this rail section and then this bit is where the other bit comes out so if you take the other path and you take the enemy and go through the ring go forwards rather than going up that tunnel it connects back up onto this section so that's quite a significant bit where they're not connected so i am quite a big fan of that uh, it comes along here now, so we can see what the gameplay looks like proper, you know, when people are actually boosting and playing as you're going to play rather than just not touching it at all like they do in the um, official videos. Um, coming along here, Black Doom comes up, what does he say? Literally, no idea, oh that says ha 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 ha. Shadow says you, you. And then the whole world starts like falling apart and we get this really nice bit. You can see the Chaos Control symbol here is locked, so obviously it's a scripted section. You can't use Chaos Control in it, which makes sense. That's fair enough. Where am I? Forward on here. I love having a little in-game in dialogue for these sections. That's something we were missing from Frontiers, I think. I do like that. Um, we meet again, Shadow the Hedgehog. That was kind of my shadow voice I did for Black Doom there, but that's fine. We meet again. Shadow the Hedgehog. There we go. Um, going here, there's the enemies. Ba, 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 ba. So yeah, this is the Radical Highway section. My latest creation. This is your doing. How? I like that. I have a little just chit chat while they're playing this. Jumps off the rail here onto this platform. Rail launching is a thing, which I love that you can do that. I mean, the rail, if you didn't do it, it would join you back up here anyway, so you're not really saving much time. But it's a nice little shortcut that you need a little bit of skill to pull off, so I'm quite a fan of that. We've got a few different routes to go here. You can go up that way, or you can go forwards here. 
Uh, but, I mean, you take the rail that way, and it takes you onto the rail, joins you up there. Or you can just go forwards on this bit, take that springboard, and it takes you up here anyway. So, again, not too... Like, the, the, the alternate paths aren't massive, but they're frequent, right? There's, like, often frequent paths, but they're not, like, completely level-changing. Like, you know, in Sonic Generations, um, where it's going into the 2D section, you can either take the upper path or the lower path, and they're significantly, like, towards the end. And they're significantly different, and the lower path is the whole two massive 2D section, the upper path is a short bit. But they're, you know, massively different things. That doesn't really seem to be the case here. They just seem to be little bits here and there. We can see this nice little bit of animation again. Yeah, just little shortcuts here and there, but there's a lot of them. Um, and I am a fan of that. Um, just getting down the building here, as we can see. Uh, reminds me quite a bit of Crisis City, with the... Uh, that tornado is carrying a car! No, wait, not that bit, was it? The whole city's on fire! The promised time will arrive once more. Um, yeah, really, really nice. So as you can see, this is a quite a long stage as well, like 4 minutes 50 on just like a first regular playthrough, which is quite nice. It obviously, it's going to get shorter as you cut time down, but it's a nice, chunky, long level. I mean, this is still longer than like pretty much any stage from Generations normally. Um, so that's quite nice. We'll meet again, Shadow. And then he falls through here, and then this is the end of the stage here. But, you know, it's still a five-minute stage, which is nice and hefty. Um, so, you know, if we can get six stages that long, I'll be more than happy as well with the open zone. We can see the level end animation here for the, I think it's for the S rank. Beautiful animation. This is for the S rank? A, S, okay. But it's it's really nice. It's nice to have end screen animation. I mean, look at that. That's sick. That is the stage just on a first regular playthrough. It took five minutes, uh, 20, which is quite nice. We also have this one, um, which is the, whoops, which is the optimum path. So this is it kind of speed running and taking a few different paths here and there, which I'm going to show you now. So this is the same thing. It goes down here. He does the from from loops. Uh, it's just the highest quality. We have this in as well, by the way. Yep. Okay. Takes this uh, rail up here. Which is, you know, the alternate path I spoke about before. So manages to get up there and takes this alternate pathway. The explosion does sort itself out in a minute. Goes along there. Takes these enemies as the route this time. Falls down by accident, I'm guessing. Takes that boost up there. Really, really, really nice. Goes up on these platforms. Still takes the left path, I think. Yeah, still takes the left path. But as you can see, as you're just going through like that, nice and quick. There's nothing like Frontiers where the homing attack's really slow. Nice, quick homing attacks for these sections, which I like a lot. Um, comes down here, launches off the rail, grabs the collectible, really nice and snappy. Takes these bits on the side here now. I'm actually going to turn the audio down because that's quite loud and I realise I have to shout. Um, then launches up there, which takes you to this section. Nice little shortcut. I really like that shortcut bit there. On that rail again, on that rail again. There we go. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Launches up that rail, absolutely beautiful, back up here, this is this section again with the missiles, I wonder if we, are we going to make the jump this time? Yeah, we are going to make the jump onto the red ring this time, which just shortcuts that bit off there, saves you a nice little chunk of time, very, 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 very nice there, same for that bit there, I mean, you actually have to pay attention to be able to do that bit quickly, which you call like, freeze it, go under, boom, hit the thing, you actually have to play this game, <laughs> which is quite nice. We can see the controls there are pretty fluid because you can just, rather than having to quick step for this section as with any other boost game, you can just vroom, manoeuvre yourself out of the way. Really quite nice. It does feel designed for the controls that he has. Um, I've heard that they're similar. They're like cyberspace controls, but like a bit more designed, um, which I know will turn some people off. But yeah, the level design is clearly made for it a lot more than cyberspace were using Sonic Adventure 2 level, stuff like that. Um, so yeah, that's completely fine. We can see this bit here, does he... Oh yeah, see, he loses them as a ramp, saves you some time. Really, really nice. You can see he does pick up these rings here with the with the more uh, controllable shadow. Across there, again, really, really nice, really, really cool. Launches off there. Then we have this section again, and you can see you can literally just mash X, uh, mash square, sorry, or X, to get through these bits as quickly as possible. But, um... 
yeah, because all of the button prompts for this is just square. But you can see what it looks like just playing out at like normal speed then. Boop, he still disappears. Boom, you can see not much slow down there. Really quite nice. Does the roll. There we go. Bong, 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 launch off the spring, same as before. Fall down into this section. So for nice and quick falling down this time though. Again, this is the optimum, what does it say? Op yeah, just optimised. Launch up there, goes up here, takes this path here, this time the whole way round. Really nice, really quick, really fluid looking movement, which I am a big, big, big fan of. Takes the enemy, takes this upper path here this time, as opposed to going through before. And this upper path actually just shortcuts you straight to these rails. So before you'd come out here, and then run along, go along here, this bit shortcuts you straight to these rails. Obviously you'd be able to jump off, I imagine, and go in there if you wanted to. Um, right the way along here look around these rails which is nice also you might be able to just jump off and land on it if you want to save yourself a bit of time really really nice little section here jumps up onto those rails rather than um, continuing on forwards up here through there really really nice it looks really really fluid and smooth there's a good amount of like actual platforming that you need to do mixed along with the more uh, set PC action stuff this bit is just the same bit where the world just falls through. And then we land down into the level here. Flying along. This, I mean, this is very much similar. This bit here is pretty linear, but it's more of a dialogue scene. So I'm okay with that. You need a bit where the character is going to be talking more. It's okay to have a more linear set PC section for that. Um, that's more than okay. Because Shadow does lean more heavily into story aspects than any other character. On the rails, coming down here really nice. Jumps up onto here again rather than taking the rail down. Takes this upper path this time instead of going down there, but as you can see, the rail literally it just takes you. Okay, a few different options here, which I'm a fan of. So you can even continue on forwards, and if you don't jump onto the next rail, it will drop you down onto this bit here, I think. And if you do take the rail, you can jump up, from cuts off this nice little section here, and just basically, this is a little nice shortcut. Which I really, really, really like. Uh, this bit here is the same as before. He's just falling down the building. That's just a very linear section. Same with defeating these enemies. And then it's just the end of the stage. So. I mean that. That, <laughs> that says it all really. Um, yeah. this That's Sonic X Shadow Generations. And it's looking mighty, mighty, mighty fine. I am a big, big, big fan of um, how this is looking, I think it's turning out to be really amazing. There's a few little sections here and there, I'm like, oh, maybe that could be connected a bit better. But for the most part, I mean, this was a more optimised run, a uh, second playthrough, 4 minutes, 20, uh, 27, so even, I mean, there were very few mess-ups there in that gameplay, and that playthrough, as you saw, and the level's still 4.5 minutes long, which is unheard of for Sonic games recently. I mean, Frontier's the longest stage is like 2 minutes, I think. Um... Forces the longest stages, for like they're almost all a minute long. Um, same with gens, but they're about two, two and a half minutes long. They're really short. Um, and Unleashed is the only time before that that we've had levels this long, and that was you know sixteen years ago. So yeah, it's looking good. I like the way this is looking. I like the way this is heading. I think this game's gonna be very, very good. Um, I don't think, and also we haven't seen the open zone section yet. We have one open zone shadow area, um, similar to Frontiers. We haven't seen that yet. We don't know how much gameplay that's going to add and how much time that's going to add to it. But yeah, I'm thinking this game's probably going to come around to about an hour, 32 hours, just on the shadow section. But then if you factor in more stuff, you know, maybe it might be a bit more. Uh, Izuka has said don't expect it to be as long as Generations. Generations is about three or four hours to complete on a first playthrough. So I'd imagine probably about two hours, two and a half absolute tops. But still, there's a, does look like there's a nice amount of replay value there, which is where most of the time in gens comes from. Um, the game itself is really, really short. A lot of the time is spent with replay value. So yeah, this is shaping to be really, really good. Can't wait to play in October. And also, if any more notable gameplay comes out, I will be updating you on that. But thank you for watching this video, and goodbye.